Hello my lovelies, welcome back to this channel. I'm so happy to see you back in. Today we have small but very sharp video regarding the scents which really will make people turn their heads, okay? This is my ranking, this is my experience. I have for you top 10 which are working perfectly for me and people are asking what exactly I'm wearing. And without further ado, let's go for it! If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm looking forward to have you in my community for more video like this to come. But let's start and let's go directly in our number 10. And our number 10 is my latest addition to the collection and this is Aqua di Parma Pione Nobili. <sighs> This is amazing scent, okay? I do a little disclaimer. I did get the compliments on this scent, but mostly from women, only from women. So I don't know if it is, there is some pattern here, but as it is new perfume, I don't know exactly. I will see more, but for now it's working beautifully with women, most probably because it's beautiful peony scent. Oh my God. It is pretty, it is elegant, it is, I find it very girly and very sexy. And this is peony, okay? Like peony is my beloved flower, most probably like between a rose and peony, it's difficult to, to decide. But the thing is that here you have both rose and peony, okay? And also with a little bit of patchouli, a little bit, okay? Not a lot, so it's not driving you nuts like crazy but beautiful floral composition. Of course, you need to like florals to love this perfume, but my number 10 working perfectly for me for turning heads of women <laughs> for now. Aqua di Parma Peony Nobili. Number nine, number nine is my beloved Narciso Rodriguez Mask Noir Rose for her. Like how it is possible to create something this gorgeous. This one, opposite, okay? This is more for men. <laughs> like it's the men who are turning heads. Uh, no, I, I would say that woman also loves it, but somehow it has something very dark, very mysterious and very magnetic for men. And here it is this combination of rose, plum and musk. It is airy, but sexy, like loud, but not loud, close to your skin, but still projecting. And this plum, 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 if you love the smell of the plum confiture, it is very close to it. I love it. I really love it. And uh, head turn up, number nine. Number eight, and you will not be surprised, this one is famous. It's Tom Ford Lost Cherry, okay? I actually myself just complimented a lady because I was uh, at my hairdresser uh, just a few hours ago. I hope you can appreciate it by the hair style. <laughs> but she was wearing this one. And of course I recognize it because it's so recognizable. But of course I compliment it as well because it's always so nice to be in the cloud of this perfume when you are around people. Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Beautiful, beautiful. If that one was plum confiture, this one is cherry confiture. I don't know what wins the best, although this one is number eight, so maybe this wins. But my god, it's so good, guys. It's so good. You absolutely need to try it. It's turning heads for many years already. Number seven, and number seven is MFK Gentle Fluidity Gold, okay? Oh my God. This is such a beautiful vanillic composition, okay? We don't know much about the notes because MFK are not showing their notes and not explaining what is it exactly in this perfume. But this is vanillic sugar, which done super elegantly, like, I, I really had people chasing me uh, in the office asking what I'm wearing when I wear this one. 
because it is so good it's a beautiful beautiful elegant sweet scent which is super light it is not massively projecting but still you can feel it on you for a very very long time it's not like baccarat rouge it's not super offensive but my god it's so beautiful it's definitely turning the heads like number seven and exceptionally good if you like vanilla if you like sugar if you like something that smells very sophisticated gentle fluidity gold number eight i actually don't have a bottle for this one because it's still on my list to buy but i love this one and every time i apply it on me for my next try because okay i'm i'm really really getting my time to buy the full bottle of this perfume and it is a libre le parfum okay it is beautiful orange vanilla lavender scent okay it is so good it is so gorgeous there is a little bit of ginger i think in it as well in the opening and this is so so caramelly creamy but fresh in the same time and like it is very potent uh, like people are noticing it people are wondering what you're <laughs> wearing every time i put it on me for try someone at home will ask what i'm wearing so yes uh definitely getting into my collection i'm sure i have a lot of people here on the channel who love this perfume saint laurent libre is next one which will be coming into my collection because it deserves to be there like i hear you i hear i hear people around uh, heads are turning on this one as well next one man we are in the top five guys top five attention 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 <laughs> it's really getting close and this is vanilla woods vanilla woods is actually from the house which is called the seven virtues and this is this house which is very eco-friendly natural oils kind of based and really creating their fragrances with the best intention from the production point of view so it's all very nice ecological and very humanly friendly so this perfume is a magical okay oh my god it's so good for me this is the scent which smells with caramelly popcorn okay so ah oh my god so good burning a uh, caramel gourmand with a bit of woodiness yeah i understand why it's called vanilla woods but a little bit okay it's not anyhow masculine it is very feminine it is very oh my god and yes this one i wear it several times each time i wear it somebody will ask me what i'm wearing okay maybe also it's because people know that it's part of the thing that i enjoy but yes it is perfect it is delicious popcorn caramelly ah there is uh, this one which is similar to the house of food actually you know this house which have the um, shape of the bottle a little bit of the egg colored in all the different colors and yeah they have this uh corn pop or pop pop top something like this i don't remember how the perfume is called but that one was overpowering for me i loved this uh popcorn caramel uh, character but i wear it on me and it was super aggressive like i definitely will not buy it and not put in my collection this one has such a similarity with it on this popcorn uh, caramelly feeling like you are chewing your popcorn during the cinema like i love this smell and but this one is gentle on me gentle on my skin it's still projecting uh, doing the work but not killing me with uh, intensity guys top four top four you will not be surprised this is my recent love barbary goddess <laughs> okay, like i enjoy this perfume i enjoy actually my daughter asked me what i'm wearing other day and she spotted the note of lavender which is crazy because this is the note which was holding me so long to not buy this perfume and she said mom it uh, smells so nice like a lavender field I think it is not this offensive, le offensive lavender that you use to remove the mosquitoes uh, from your house. 
No, no, no. This is very soft, very nice vanillic lavender. I enjoy full experience. Honestly, it's not only wearing this bottle, having people asking me what I'm wearing or telling me that I'm smelling nice with vanilla and lavender, but also like the use of this bottle itself. It's so beautiful. It's really goddess. Like you feel like a goddess when you use it. I overspray it. I don't know if you can see it. Like I'm just starting using it, but like it's uh, it's quite a lot down already because I put it basically everywhere. I just love the feeling of like I'm goddess and I put all these uh, goldish vanilla substance on me to feel and smell nice. And also it gives a little bit of the shiny effect on the skin. Somehow I noticed that there is a little particles or maybe it's just my impression that uh, are there on the skin when you use it. Anyway, head turner. Head turner. Really number four. Number four on the list. Okay, it is number four on the list because the list is really strong and you have the best perfumes here. Next one for the goddess is Bad Blanche Liquid Imaginaire. Let's be serious, guys. Okay? This is a killer. This is a killer. It is bad. Bad means beast. It is beast because it is the beast. It is Blanche beast because it is soft and smooth and nice. But men are going crazy about this perfume. This is how goddesses smell like. Okay? Kakanati, beautiful, naked uh, lady going out of Ala Aphrodite kind of picture you have in mind. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It smells like your skin coconut lotion and with suntan, with sunscreen, with uh, a little bit of white florals as well, like number three and should be number three. But my god, there are other two which suddenly become the top and you will be now interested because yes, number two. Number two is Bianca Latte and this guy is so close to this guy. Okay, they are very similar characteristic. They are very similar character. They are very similar feeling, but this is more is caramelly kind of, of uh, feeling. It, this is so much caramelly. This is so much delicious. This is so much gourmet and more potent rather than that blanche I feel and it stays longer in the skin and more projecting. And yes, people are asking me what I'm wearing when I wear this one. So it's here. And number one, the killer, absolute head turner. And this is this little beautiful Valaya by Maison de Marley, Parfa de Marley. Guys, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but this... <sighs> This is like air princess. This is like like also goddess, but goddess which is coming from air, from the beautiful flowers, beautiful something citrusy, something floral, something peachy, something bergamotty, something super fresh and nice, uh, so much musky, so much airy, uh, like this one, every single time I wear this one, every single time someone will ask me what I am wearing. I think this will be in my life collection always, if I don't discontinue it one day. But this is absolute head turner, Valaya, Parfa de Marley, number one. Guys, I hope you liked this video, like head turners for your collection in case you're searching for something will be so much impactful. Depending on which kind of notes you like, you have all the different variety of perfumes. You have floral, you have fruity, you have more gourmand-like, more musky-like, whatever you like, pick one of them and it will be working for you beautifully, I promise you. If you have another ones who are like having this power to turn the heads of people, please share with me. I continue build my collection. I love it. It's really something which is super interesting for me. So I would be happy to know. 
and to learn from you. So with this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Come back to me on my channel for the new video. And till the next one. Bye-bye for now.